Since I last did a fireside chat, I had COVID. Undoubtedly, many of you know that since I have learned that I trended on Twitter. There was a major article attacking me in the Washington Post and a whole host of other left wing sites. And I was the object of many people's desire that I drop dead, hopefully painfully. And I, I have a lot to say about this, this whole thing. So I have been mocked uh, constantly because if you go against anything that is said by the left, whether it is about race or America or religion or schooling or a COVID, they shut you down, but first they mock you. Now, can you imagine me wanting somebody I differed with to drop dead? Do I want people who are against therapeutics to die? Of course not. It wouldn't occur to me. Who are the scum who write in? Well, they're all, uh, they're all um, anonymous, but I still would love to know who they are. Would you write in that you wish that somebody died? They don't want people who, who murder people in, in, uh, in gang-related warfare to die. They would, they would say that if you said they should die, after all, they're anti-capital punishment, nearly all of these people. They, they don't want people who mass murder to die. But I should die. So I'm asked a lot, does it bother me? It does bother me for my country. It doesn't bother me for me at all. I am surrounded by love. I am surrounded by wonderful people wherever I speak across this country. I just came back from another trip speaking in Florida and vast audiences show up and I am, I am given a tremendous amount of love. So the fact that I get hate only means that there are a lot of hate filled people in the country. It doesn't bother me for me at all. But it does bother me that America has produced so many low lowlifes. This is not a good sign that the amount of hate from the left is acceptable and people think they're good people, these haters. They all walk around thinking they're wonderful. They think that people who don't get vaccinated should not even be treated in hospitals. Now, if somebody just tortured a, a young girl and raped her to death, but do they think they should be treated in a hospital if they were wounded by the police? But if somebody didn't get vaccinated, they are on a lower level in many Americans' eyes than rapists and murderers. This is sick stuff. This is really sick stuff. If you have people like that in your life, my heart goes out to you. I have no such people in my life. I have people like that in the Washington Post but they're not in my life. So that's the story.